Don't permit those you teach and lead to influence you to sin. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. Psalm 106, 32 and 33. Those you teach. The sins of one man can cause others to fall. Be careful. It was the angry spirits of the multitude that caused the spirit of my mild and gentle Moses to lose its balance. He who under the most extreme circumstances could always get hold of me and be quiet before me while I dealt with the troublemakers in the camp lost his poise and grace just one time. And because of it, he was not able to cross over into the land of promise. Listen. A curtain even more unpenetrable than the veil between the holy place and the holy of holies hung between him and Canaan land, which kept him from taking one step into the promised land. The sin he committed was only the sins of the mouth, which seemed so small in comparison to the other sins. I had warned my people and given them many laws which were very explicit. And not once did I say, you must not get angry when someone irritates you and accuses you wrongfully. Yet, when Moses did just that, he sinned so greatly that he was forbidden to lead the people into the promised land. Why? Because he was a leader. Much more is demanded of leaders, see? They must always set an example. Their footsteps affect thousands and tens of thousands. See, because of this, I must deal more severely with them than with the multitude. Listen, one shepherd can lead the whole flock astray. That is why in this day, my judgment will fall on many shepherds. Ezekiel 34, 1 through 10. The teachers, too, shall come under greater condemnation. James 3, 1. For many shall teach error to those who have itching ears, because they want to believe a lie, and so both teacher and disciple shall come under heavy judgment because they desire not the truth, though it is available to them. 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4. Let not the emotions of the multitude lead and influence you. Rather, you must be the example, the teacher, the leader, the priest who brings them to me. See? For you are a living epistle which is read by all men. 2 Corinthians 3, 2 And the law which is written on your heart by the Holy Spirit must be lived out by you as an example to all. Don't Permit those you teach and lead to influence you to sin.